I notice something um, when they start to tell their story. I notice a certain level of emotion that's involved in it, whether it's tears or anger, um, frustration, deep, deep hurt, um, disappointment in their in their church. Um, if and they're just beginning to deal with that, or they just remembered, you know, I would say. I would say they're probably a victim, but they do need to name themselves, like you said. Um, but, you know, we didn't ask to be victims. There's nothing wrong right. with victims, right. you know? Um, we didn't ask for it. So I think, you know, when, when you've gone through therapy, I, I don't think you can get through it alone. I don't think you can get to the other side of it alone without right. therapy and some kind of outside support. Um, it's, it, I don't think therapy is enough. I think you need support as well. Um, maybe some people have done it with therapy alone, but uh, it's so, um, it feels so good to be able to be in a group where you don't have to explain yourself. They get exactly. it. They just get it. And I think that helps in the healing process, you know, to come to being a survivor and having most of it behind you. Not that you're not going to be triggered or feel it. That's not what I mean. I'm just saying, you know, you're into the journey pretty far. Mm 